Hello there, my name is Dave Allen and I'm good and geeky. And this is going to be about Alfred, which is more than just an application launcher. I've got it set so that it uses the command space, which is normally used for using Spotlight. So I move Spotlight over to Option Spacebar, Command and Spacebar, and brings up Alfred. Still got Option Spacebar to bring up Spotlight Search if I want to. So what else can you do with Alfred? Let's have a look at the features. In the features, we've got the default results. And basically, you should just set it to Essentials, but maybe put a couple of extras in there if you feel like it. You can use Alfred to find files on your computer. So let's go Command Spacebar again. And then I'm going to put Spacebar again. Or you can click on the open quotation mark. And you can start looking for files that we want to open. So let's say we're looking for a file. with starting with the letters F, V. We can find those. So if I'm looking for a file called Chapter 3. Also, what you can do is you can get through actions. If I use the right arrow key, this opens up the actions that are available. It can give a quick look as to what's in the file, or you can just use it to do open or open with. You want to specify which application you want to use. So it's going to tell me now that I can open it in drafts, or I can send it into BB Edit, or whatever I want to put it, or into text buddy. So I want to do something with the text that's in there. So there's a couple of different places that I can open that file by using the right arrow there. Uh, let's use the right arrow again. So maybe I want to move that file. So I can take it to Revealing Finder. It's going to show me that file in the Finder. What if I just don't want to open a file? I want to just find a file. So then I'm going to use the keyword Find. So I put in Find, Reveal File in Finder. And this time I'm going to do Chapter. That is looking for the same file again. And this time, just pressing enter, it'll do the same before and show me in this, this one here, but I didn't have to go through the actions pane to be able to get to it. What else can we do? Say you want to find some files that have got some tags on them. And we're going to use the keyword tags. Search file tags, press enter. And then I want to find a file that's got some inner gear. So that's giving me a list of five files which have, which have got the tag Somenergy in there. So I can also look for files that have got two tags in there. and So it's a Boolean AND. So that means that the files that are going to be found are the ones that have both of the tags. So if it's got Somenergy and Solar, then now we're only just showing four files. OK, so that's how we look for files with tags in. I do recommend that you use tags because tags are a great way to find your files at a later stage. You can basically put tags in there to link them to, say, a project that you're working on. Or maybe it's something to do with a specific thing that you need to do or a, um, a job that you're working with. And it's a great way to keep an eye on what's going on with your files and make them easier to find later. So that's your file, that's your default results. And then we'll move into the file search. Like I said, we've got the open which is the way of opening files. We've got find, we've got finding words inside of files. So let's go for this one here. Let's go for finding files that I've got the word dictation in. So I'm going to type in in, and then I'm going to look for the word dictation. And I've got a whole bunch of files there that I've got the word dictation in there, and I can go through this here. Say if I want to have this one here, which is an RTF file, I press enter and that's going to open up the file in text edit and it's got the word dictation in there so that's kind of cool so a way of finding words within files i can tell it not to show certain things so for instance at the moment it's not showing emails bookmarks music source files contacts but that's up to you to set that as you wish okay so um, what else can you do with this say i want to show something to do with one of my contacts so let's go to this one here and I want to find a contact called Technimoto Figueres. So if I press enter on that there, that brings up that there. And now if I want to show something there, I can go to, I can click on this and go to, straight to the web page. It brought the web page up on a different uh, browser window. Okay, that's fine. It worked. So let's go to this one again and go to the Technimoto one again in Figueres. So this time I'm going to press enter. And say if I want to have a look at this and I want to look at it uh, large, if I do Command, Option and L, and it shows it full on the screen for me, which is kind of cool. Or what I could do is I could come down to this one here, uh, to the address. And if I tap on the Enter key, it's going to open up in Maps. Another way of uh, using this Alfred there to get to specific places. 
let's go into actions here and if I want to go into that actions thing which I showed you before I don't have to go through Alfred to get there I can use the hyper key plus the backspace my hyper key is set up as caps lock it's the same as pressing shift control option and command all in one go so if I press the caps lock key and the backspace that's not going to do anything because I've got the finder window up so let's get the finder window up so now if I've got a file selected, so this one here for instance index HTML. So if I want to get to that one there, I can go for the um, caps lock key and backspace and then I'm given some options as to what to want to do with it. I can open the file, it's going to open up in a browser if I do that. If I can open with, then I have a few choices using a browser or if I go into text edit and do some editing of it in edit, text edit or maybe BB edit. You see, that's the uh, basics of a web page there. All what I can do is, if I've got that file selected still, I do the caps lock key and the backspace, and then I could go to uh, find similar, or I could browse the folder that it's in in Alfred. Let's try that. So that's the things that within the same folder there, so I can move them and I can see what else has got in there. So that's given me a uh, a quick look at an image that I have in the same folder. I just pressed Escape to come out of that. And what else I could do with this is I could uh, move that file. So I could do move to. So let's press enter and let's say when I want to move it to. So let's say I want to move it into the desktop. If I press enter now, that'll be moved to the desktop. File moved. There you go. That's uh, doing something with the actions that you have. And so there's your action that you can choose from. You can even do it so that you can open a file in terminal. Okay, so go on to do searches. If I want to search for something using Alfred, Bring up Alfred and I want to look for something sort of, uh, this is going to look through Google, Amazon and Wikipedia. Those are the three that come up by themselves when you just don't put in anything else in. But if you use one of the keywords, so for instance, maybe I want to look in Wolfram, ask Wolfram, press enter. And then if I want to do the um, same word, that's going to ask Wolfram the word ravine. If I want to look for a movie or a TV series that I'm looking for, I can go into IMDB. Okay, so search IMDB for Sweet Tooth, for instance. Very good series. If you watch that, I think you're going to like it. And that'll open up in a browser and it'll show me Sweet Tooth in IMDB. Cool or what? So you can use IMDB or you could use uh, Rotten Tomatoes. So this is another place where you look for things about movies. And we got Sweet Tooth. And this is the Sweet Tooth. TV show I was looking at and it's got some very good reviews there getting 98% well done Sweet Tooth I enjoyed it so you're going to watch it again maybe or, or I'm looking forward to the next series shall we say you can tell it to look for things in say YouTube for instance so if I want to look for something in uh, YouTube let's go for YouTube search YouTube for I only typed in three letters there and it gave me the option of uh, putting YouTube in there by pressing enter so maybe I want to look for Wizard Gold in there and this will bring up a search for Wizard Gold. And you can find things that I've done already. Wizard Gold intro to YouTube. YouTube stuff. I could specifically tell it I want to look in Bing or Yahoo. Or Yubnub. Whatever the hell that is. Or DuckDuckGo. Or I could look for a Twitter user in uh, Twitter. Twitter. So I can tell it to look for Twitter user. Let's just come down one to Command and 2. And I want to look for Good and Geeky. And it opens up with Good and Geeky. So this is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky. And I hope you've got something from this basic look at Alfred. And there's more to come about Alfred. Don't forget to give it a like and to subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye bye now.